Welcome one and all back again to another venture of Fat Boy at the Forge. We're going to be continuing on with the double sided spear. And today it's going to be all about the handle. So let me turn you to face it. So I'm going to drill, I've already drilled one hole just kind of as a pivot to see if the nails fit. So now I've got two more holes, one there and one there. Going to drill and then once I'm done with that, going to take this other one, move the metal, tape that or stick it together, clamp it together. Drill the holes in so that they match up. Then going to glue it, sand it so that it's a nice comfortable grip. And then start working on sharpening. So if you're cool with that and down with that, let's get started. Okay, and we're back. I'm going to get rid of these. And then the fun begins with sanding. So I don't know where this left off uh, recording, but I did go ahead and sharpen one side. And as I was playing with it, I realized that this part back here is kind of more of a detriment than anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and go all the way down to the tip and make that just a spike. So in this video, we put a handle on this, turned it from a two-sided spear into a one, just because every time I kept doing this, the back part back here kept either poking or something, so now it's just kind of a one-handed spear. I still left a pointy bit on the other part, just for extra stabbage and I will sharpen that but my camera battery is dying and I don't have a backup battery apparently that I charge. So in the next episode if I don't make a sheath for this then I am going to just go ahead and test but off camera I will be sharpening this point. So if you want to see that and I've kind of already got another idea from this. I know it's kind of shocking, but I really like how thin this turned out. And you know, my favorite weapon of all time is a scythe. 
I might actually do a scythe that's about 50 inches tall, which is from point to point, and then maybe like a foot or something, maybe like a garden scythe meets this, but I think it'd be kind of cool to have maybe like a scythe and then a spike on the back. If you want to see something like that, leave a comment down below, or I can do something else. I do plan still on forging the uh, leaf springs, but as always, like I said before this camera dies, tip your waiters and waitresses, because the service industry is crap, and I will always be back with another adventure of that boy at the forge. Need better intros and outros. So, peace.